Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Today I'm going to be doing a full edit in Lightroom showing you how to take any color tone that is in snow in a winter photograph. Theme tune. Do -do 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 -do. I'm a snowflake. I'm a snowflake. I'm a snowflake. Okay, so I know it's coming into summer and this is a winter photo, but it is a community edit that I should have done a long time ago. Anyway, this photograph was sent in by somebody from the Photos in Color community and they sent it in by the Photos in Color Facebook page. So head over there, send me a message and I will let you know how to do it. Remember, you must send me a raw file. I won't edit, be editing JPEGs in Lightroom. So let's jump in and let's have a look at what we're gonna be doing today. So this is the image that we're gonna be working on today. And it was sent in by Eric Frank. Um, and he said that he was having an issue with this blue coloring that was re essentially reflected from the sky on the snow, snow and how to get rid of it. So I'll show you how to do that today. So it was shot on the Nikon D5000 uh, F16, so it's a landscape clearly, no flash, ISO 400 at 55 millimeters. So let's zoom in, it's nice and sharp. Little bit of um, noise in there, but that's nothing to worry about. It's just a beautiful image. So let's jump over to the develop module and let's have a look at this. So first of all, I think it's wonderful because often when you're shooting in snow, the white balance will be off or, or the image will be incredibly dark because of the way that the camera works. So he's done a really good job of capturing this image. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just pull back and I'm just gonna look at the exposure and see where I can go. So as soon as I'm holding down option here and when it goes white, that means that it's completely blown out. So that's, I can boost the exposure by 1.6 here. So now it's very, very, very snowy um, and way too washed out. But I just wanted to see how far I can push the image. Um, so I'm gonna boost my exposure just a little bit on this. So that keeps those whites, that in itself is gonna make the white a bit whiter anyway. So that looks great. But then I'm gonna pull down just the pure highlights and we're gonna lift the shadows of the trees and bring down the blacks and probably boost that up here. Okay, so now that's looking very snowy, very clean and very fresh. Let's do a before and an after. But the thing is, is the blue. I wanna bring that sky back. That's really important. So for that, we just take the luminance where it says blue and we literally pull it back. Now the luminance, what that does is it takes the color and the light, the reflectivity essentially of the light, it makes it darker if you go pull the luminance out and it makes it lighter if you go the other way. So we're gonna pull the luminance back on those and then we're gonna boost the luminance of the reds. So we're gonna make those a little bit lighter. Okay, I really, in fact, we should have some color over here in the trees. Let's have a look at that. So let's leave the luminance there and let's actually boost the color. Satur there you go, look at the saturation of those trees. What I'm looking at is over here where the sun's hitting it. I can lift the saturation and make it look more wintry, where well, I like that a lot. Here, we've done quite a lot of boosting of saturation now. Before and after, starting to really come together. Now I've got it to this point, we're now gonna target the blue area. Now, first of all, I will be doing a local adjustment here, but one great way of doing it, actually in this situation, is using the split toning because the blue up here is kind of in the highlights, but the blue down here is in the shadows. So all I have to do is counteract that by adding a little saturation and we, to counteract blues, we go for an orange, okay? And look what I've just done there. I've just added the orange to the blues and look what's happened, it's already pulled it out. And kind of what's really wonderful is it's added all of this color over here to my trees. And the reason why that's great is because now it's got a real wintry feeling and it looks fantastic. So let's look at the before now and the after and already we've got rid of most of the blues. However, let's come in, we still do have some blue areas. So let's get rid of that. For that, we're going to come in here, use the brush tool, double click effect to reset it. And now I can go through and make some adjustments. Now, I'm actually just gonna reduce the saturation down of this. And again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a tiniest little bit of orange, just a little bit. And watch what happens when all I'm going to do here is I'm gonna paint over this area. 
and look at that. So what it's actually done, so I'm going to bring back the um, density and the flow of this because now I've got some harder lines and I'm going to just fade it out down this side section here. Great. And across here, and let's just bring it into this area and then a little bit down here in the foreground, but I've got my, I've got everything pretty low. But now let's have a quick look at this. And now let's look at the before and the after. Now it's nearly completely taken out. And to help that as well, I'm gonna boost my highlights on this area, which has basically made those dark areas lighter. Uh, sorry, the light areas here even lighter. It's gonna wash that out a little bit. So now let's look at the before. And the after, oh, I've missed some blue down here. So let me come back into the brush tool. I'm gonna to reselect this one. I'm gonna hit O so I can see where it's affected everything. And I can see directly that my mask, so the, by clicking O, you get to see the, the, the mask. So I'm just gonna go in here. That looks better already, but I've gone into my trees a lot. So now I'm gonna to go to Erase, Auto Mask, because it's got that line of the snow, it's gonna do a pretty good job. So I can actually, let's just boost this up a little. I can run this along the line where that snow is. And what you're gonna see is it's really gonna do a pretty good job at masking everything out, but not the snow. Let's have a quick look at that. That looks pretty, oh, just missed a little bit here. Kinda like that. Let's take the mask off. Now it's looking great. And then let's, Okay, so I'm absolutely loving what's happening to this image now. So now let's get a little bit creative and let's finish it off because we've got rid of the blue nearly completely. I'm gonna get rid of it a little bit more by coming back in here. I'm gonna go to the yellows, keep the saturation low a little bit, get rid of the color that I added and I'm actually gonna boost the exposure and the highlights and the whites and I'm actually gonna paint over let me just make it 100% of my flow. I'm gonna paint over that area some more. Basically, I'm bringing, really bringing out this snow, like so. Let's bring back the darks a little bit. There you go, now that's starting. So I think it looks wonderful, this image. So let's bring in another brush. We're gonna go for another new one. And now what I want to do is I actually want to add in the saturation and I'm actually gonna dehaze this a little bit on the trees. And so I'm gonna add, so I'm gonna go the other way, so it's gonna add, so add some clarity. And if you watch now as I paint on these trees, it's going to, so I went the wrong way with the dehaze slider. It's essentially, it's just gonna boost up these trees for me. Oh, really amazing. And I'm gonna do the same thing over the building. The building I'm gonna to come to next. Because what I really think needs to happen here Again, I'm gonna go with the brush tool. I'm a big fan of localized adjustments because what it does is it really does allow me to draw focus in to a certain area of an image. So that there is brought in all of this. Let's boost this exposure up. Now this building is starting to come alive. Now I'm gonna go for a graduated filter. I'm gonna to add to this sky a little bit. So I'm gonna go over the sky, so it's gonna graduate over this area, I have a graduated filter um, tutorial on its way. I may have even posted it already, so check that out. Gonna go blue a little bit on this. Now that sky is looking fantastic, come out. The next thing I'm going to work on is the tone curve. So I'm gonna come back to the RGB, and what I want to do is I actually want to darken it up a little bit, like so. So what I did, I made two points and I darken it in the mid-tones. So the highlights and the mid-tones get pulled back, but the shadows don't. Because if I have the shadows, it just gets too dark for me. I want to keep those lifted up. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of a color tone to this, add some feeling. So with the red, I'm just gonna go in the shadows. I'm gonna boost this up a hair like so. Then I'm gonna go to the blues and in the mid-tones, pull it backwards. So now let's look what I did with the tone curve before and after, and for me, it's really getting exciting and looking wonderful. So let's now look at the blues, so I can change the color of the sky, and I'm gonna push this towards the darker side of the blue by just one, just because it richens up the sky nicely. 
Okay, now we had a little bit of noise, so I'm just gonna drop in a little bit of noise reduction. Don't wanna go too far. And that's just gonna, in fact, if I hold down option as I slide this, what it does is it puts it in black and white for me so I can start seeing the noise better in black and white. So you can see it's kind of, let's zoom in for this. That's made it all pastely and horrible. Whereas if I go the other way to zero, it brings it all back. So if I slide it over here while I'm holding on, I can see just that moment when I start getting rid of the noise here. And I like that a lot. Come out. Final thing that this image needs. So I love it before and the after, but this is the final one and it's the crop. Because it needs more focus to really bring this in as a landscape, I'm going to crop it right here. So now let's look at it. Now we've given a little bit more weight to the sky and it really brings in the eye down here. So let's look at the before. Great starting image. And let's look at the after. For me, I really think we've got it to a great place. So that's how I would edit this photograph in Lightroom. If you did like my edit, give me a thumbs up. If you would have done it differently, give me a thumbs up. No, um, actually just leave me a comment below. The comments are hugely helpful and I do try to respond to everybody, but it may take me a few days or even a week sometimes to get to you. Anyway, my, my name is Ed Gregory from photosincolor.com. You can always find me on Snapchat under my name of Clearly Ed. And that's about it. Theme tune. Boop, 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 boop.